Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock 2 on the Nemgo server. I have been fairly busy over the weekend, getting on with a few bits and pieces. Just a few simple quests, a few of the mundane ones I suppose you could call them. Uh, just making things, so J.E.I., what is it, craft it, can I craft it, yes I can, no I can't, yes I can, no I can't, and I'll just craft some things up. So we have crafted the 4K storage cell, I'm going to get me a reward for that. An auto sifter, a bit late for that, thanks. And uh, four upgrades, yeah a bit late for that as well. 16 to 64K storage cell, boom. Cryo stabilizer flux ducts, they're awesome, but a little bit out of my league right now, so they get put away for safekeeping. Uh, started on the Abbas, the Yabba Dabba Doos, the uh, barrels that can store stacks the same as the, um, well, drawers can. Uh, yeah, I've got a couple of manic mechanical crafters for that, that's good. Um, reinforced conversion kits, awesome. I've been making those myself, so I can do those. And some chance cubes. Awesome. We're going to have to do a chance cube thing at some point. There is a site set up at spawn for chance cubes and all that. Uh, so yeah, I've got a few bits and pieces in there that I do and do not want. Um, but also, um, we've got some very, more, uh, very simple things to do in the future. The automated crafting and all that kind of stuff. And these. I did do these tiers as well, but I didn't get this overproduction. The void barrel, right? The void barrel. Once again, I think I had a problem with the void barrel being a um, an issue with dye. There we go. We needed black dye to make a void barrel. Why black dye? I don't know. Because it's got black bands on it. Is that all you have to do to void things off? Paint it black? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. So I did a little something down here. As you can see from the water sources here. Oh, hey, squid. How are you doing? Floaty down. Go on, floaty down. So I've had squid spawn. I've had a little squid farm here. They will spawn and then they'll get pushed down by the current and then they'll fall, take a bit of damage, die, and then this thing will put them into there. That was perfect timing, squid. Thank you so much for that perfect timing for my demonstration. You are awesome. Um, you're dead, but you're awesome. So then I've managed to get some loot drops from them as well. Look, I've got some loot drops and some ink. So we will take the ink, just the one for now, because I know where it is when I need it. Go on, get, get down, get down. Go on. Um, I know where it is when I need it, and now I can use that to craft it. So, uh, a few things in here. Today, this is what we're working on, so we'll be in here a bit later on as well. Let's see if I can get this thing started. There we go, one of those. Thank you. That's the void item upgrade, and I get the reward. Did I put it away too soon? Did it not register that I'd crafted it? There it is, overproduction. Put it in there. So I'm kind of putting all the things that I make wood-wise in here. I also put a string hopper uh, bonsai tree on top of it for a while to build up some wood supply and some string supplies in the workshop. So I don't have to keep going out there and getting it. It's just an annoyance. This, on the other hand, this is uh, pretty cool. Look at it. Chorus fruit. Now, I will show you all of that in just a second. Let's just claim these last few rewards. Uh, so, overproduction. I claimed my random reward for that. Thank you. Oh, have I got to put all the other things in my inventory? Oh, okay. I did make all the other uh, upgrades. Iron, those, gold, diamond, pickup collections. Let's see what we got. Oh, we get everything. Yay. So, iron tier reward. What do we get? We got a singulum... Uh, Signilium conversion kit. Signilium. Yeah, that's the one. And we got two diamond tier versions. That's good. The gold tier gives me two diamond tiers, which would have automatically unlocked my next quest had I not avoided done it. And then that rewards me with two more diamond tiers. Excellent. And then I've got an infinity one, which requires um, nether stars by the looks of it. So I probably won't be doing that just yet. All right. So that's that bit done, right? So I'll, I'll put a few things away. Uh, I'm putting those away in there, and I'll put the other stuff away. I've, I've started keeping things kind of organised, so if I can make it, it's going into there. Uh, that I haven't worked on making yet. That I haven't worked on making yet. The chance cubes are going away. That can go away in a minute. The mechanical crafter, I'm pretty sure I can make a mechanical crafter, so I'll put that in there, along with the upgrades. And the auto sifter needs to go away as well. So yeah, I've been working on a few new areas. Um, we have got this area now off this chute. This is going to be a living area. So <clears throat> the plan is to have the kitchen here, which we'll come back to in a minute. 
the dining room here, which is from the kitchen into the dining room. This is going to be a big dining table. Yeah, big dining table, nice fancy dining room. I don't know what use it's going to be modded wise, but it's going to look like a house at least. And then into a bedroom. At the minute, a very dark bedroom. And this side into a library where I'm going to have my um, enchanting table moved up here. And library books, library books, library books, which then links off the tool station. So I can have normal tinkers tools being produced here and enchanted tools produced in the library here and maybe start a little bit of thorncraft and all that kind of stuff over this side as well and then from the farm we go up slightly and i've been doing a little bit of vanilla farming this rotating elevator is awesome you see how the arrows are pointing so that arrow is pointing in that direction which means no matter which way i'm facing i'm going to end up facing that direction when i come back down so let's just show, right, so I'm up on the next bit. If I turn around to this way, right, and go down, it automatically refaces me to this way, which is pretty awesome. And this one's set to reface to this way. So I could be swapping around all over the place if I wanted. <laughs> but in here, we have the Nemgo farmhouse. Yep, the Nemgo farmhouse. One of the first things me and Ego ever built together uh, was a Nemgo um, site on the Madland server. And this is the Nemgo farmhouse, recreated to be my little farmhouse for storing farm stuff. It's actually in the middle of the cave, but it gives the impression that you're inside a little house and looking out onto the gardens. That's what I like to see. So that's what I've been working on. A few little bits and pieces like that to help the immersion of being in this stone place instead of getting any sort of claustrophobia. I'm starting to develop these things like the, the window lights on the factory roof. As you can see, the factory roof is taking shape. I'm currently waiting for more clay. Ego lent me, or gave me, a load of clay blocks earlier, and I've been cooking them into bricks ready for this. Glowstone's working out, doing the same sort of thing as I did on the lower floor. On the lower floor where we did this kind of fake lighting. I'm just going to do that all the way around to keep it nice and bright. And I've got this little platform here. This little platform here is where I'm storing all the old storage of the old stuff. The older mods, the low-tech stuff that we don't really need anymore because we've uh, increased our levels. So uh, this is a storage area for the low-tech. And if I ever need the low-tech, like if I really need to go and get a heavy sieve with a diamond just because of one-off thing I've missed out on, I can come and do it up here in this little room. I'm still trying to figure out how to take the window up the stairs and all that kind of stuff. But we're getting there. It's, it's slowly but surely working on. And I'll bring you back into that another time. But that's on the same level as the farm here. And I do plan on having um, fields here for the animals. And on this side, um, I do plan on having something else on this side as well. Which is why the windows are still there at the minute on that side. But anyway, let's get back downstairs. We can we can do the, the farming way. Which is where we're going to have the kitchen and the cooking for blockheads. So I can just drop down here like I normally do. Now, you might be wondering, how have I been reaching all the way up there? And no, I haven't been building blocks all the way up there. I've actually been flying. Yes, flying. It's a very simple recipe, and I shall show you right now. We shall have um, a stack of glowstone. We shall take some chorus fruits, right? The chorus fruits from here. And we shall put one in the center and then wrap the glowstone around it. So it's a glowstone chorus fruit. Or is it the other way around? It's the other way around. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> it's the other way around. Derp, derp, derp. You put the glowstone in the middle and then the chorus fruit around the outside. Yeah. There we go. And then we get these eight of these glowing chorus fruits. Um, it gives you a stackable few minutes of creative flight each time it's eaten. Which is why I set up this chorus fruit thing. To, to get the chorus fruit, you needed to... Well, you could bonsai tree... Um, needed to get some of this stuff, right? Chorus flowers and grow them in order to get chorus fruit. So then you can use a bonsai tree with an end stone in it and chorus fruit in it to grow your own, which is what I've been doing here. Growing my own. That's what that's uh, that's what's going on there. Also getting ender pearls every now and again and popped chorus fruit every now and again and these chorus flowers. Now the recipe for these chorus flowers, we can sieve crushed endstone to get them so that's what i did i sieved some crushed endstone then grew a few got some broken down into making chorus fruit and then set up this little chorus fruit bonsai tree so that this would fill up nicely with end stuff 
and give me this kind of um, food stuff that also gives me flight. So you chomp down on it, and in the top right-hand corner of the screen up above the map at the minute, it's, uh, it adds two minutes onto my flying timer. And then it's just like creative flight. It's just nice and simple, like creative flight. So it's kind of creative flight, but you have to have been to the end. Uh, and it's also a food stuff, which is also quite nice. So now you're all kind of caught up with what's going on. I completed these quests and these quests while um, just getting busy. I'll probably complete these crafting quests during episodes because the uh, crafting, automatic crafting side of things is quite intricate. These ones, maybe not so much. Maybe I'll just make them at some point and sort them out. Uh, but today I'm going to start on chickens. Now, not just any chickens. Like, there's a lot of chickens here. There's a lot of this. There's a lot towards the roost and the, all that kind of stuff, right? I'm not really sure <laughs> about it because I've never done the chickens before. I've never done a, the chickens. The chicken mod is all, kind of, well, roost is kind of uh, new to me. I saw it uh, while I was not here, as in uh, while I was on my break. I saw it being used and I thought, oh, well, I, I kind of like my civin. I like, I like the civin stuff. But the chickens do have an element of they can get things that bees used to be able to get. Magical bees used to be a thing. Uh, so I've decided that I'm going to have um, six chickens in this workshop. And they're my main six chickens. They're going to be producing things for um, the AE system. The stuff that I will be using regularly within the AE system. I may as well have them here being produced. And then the rest of the eggs can go upstairs uh, in line with all that uh, in my farm area. Which we'll deal with another time to get all the other stuff. So the chickens that I seem to need to get... Um, all re begin with needing an egg, and I don't think I've got any eggs, as you can see. I don't, I don't have any eggs. So to start with, we've got to get an egg. And the way that the book seems to show me getting eggs is the first quest. Snare a uh, beta chicken, which is a ground trap. So we're going to use ground traps, and that's the first thing I'm going to set up a load of these. Um, works by bait used while... Uh, Bait used while it is touching at least four blocks of grass. Okay, so it works while it's touching at least four blocks of grass. So that means a block of grass on each side of the ground trap, I'm guessing. So we've got ground trap and we've also got water trap. There's two types of trap from Pam's Harvest Craft and then there's um, actual bait for it all. So this for a start, right? Almost everything that I've been gathering up in this area, hopefully I've got it all. It's the, it's the chest. Would you guess that I've got a chest missing? Wow, let's just store that recipe for now and let's make some chests. I'm going to make a bucket load of chests because I'm always going to need lots of chests for all sorts of storage drawers and barrels and all that kind of stuff. So we'll have a, a couple of stacks of chests. Then we'll come back to this. So I think I'm going to want a few. I only had one trapdoor. So one trapdoor for now would be enough. Um, and I'm going to set up... I don't know. I think I'm going to set up about five of these overall so that we can see how quickly we can get something useful in each okay so then that gives us a random reward beta chicken random reward got the ground trap now i need to do some bait of some kind okay so any old bait uh, what what bait does it say you need to get a chicken bait of chicken fruit bait i think i could probably make an apple yeah an apple bait and the grain bait, I think I can just use some wheat. Yep. And the, not the fish trap, the veggie bait, I just need any kind of vegetable matter, like a carrot. Okay, so apple, wheat, and carrot. Okay, it's a good job I've already done a bit of farming, isn't it? It's already, it's very good. So I've gone with four of each. So in this case, we're going to have an apple there, and I'll get four, four, four. Sit, run out of those, and then put the wheat through and just do those as well. Put the carrots in. I want to get a little bit of everything. I want to test them all out. Carrots in there like that. Okay. And then now we've got the bait. We've got the, um, yeah, we've got the random reward of two ender chests. Lovely. Excellent. Just what I want to see. And then we've got market, which I can buy a market. I can catch a chicken and I can grow chickens the other way. So there's a few things to do. The catcher chicken is possibly the first thing, and that needs a chicken catcher. So I think I want to get a chicken catcher as well, but I believe that needs an egg. So almost everything needs the egg. So definitely the egg comes before the chicken. 
in in most ways. And I'm trying to go up there, and I don't have a <laughs> I don't have a thing yet. It's over it. Uh, in almost every way, the egg comes before the chicken. But anyway, this is an area where I want to set up the uh, like the grassland. So I've decided to try out two different techniques. We've got this one is connected by four grass. This one is surrounded by four grass. This one's surrounded by four grass and so on. This one is surrounded by one, two, three, four grass, but I've decided to let it have the extra few spaces around it to see if it's going to be okay or better. So over this side, this one's got four, and then this one will have those four, like so, and then this one will have those four. And clearly you can see what I'm going at there. So I wanted to try out the two different methods to see which one was more useful, uh, which one was quicker and the like. So over here, we will try um, one, two, three, veggie trap, uh, veggie bait. And this one will go one, two, three, grain bait. And this one, one, two, three, fruit bait. And I will sit and I will wait until something happens within these ground traps that will make anything happen. And then once I've got them, let's see. Can we can we see what uses they are? Uh, it gives us here we go. Chicken egg. So the grain bait is chicken eggs. That's good to know. All right, I like that. Uses. This is also egg bait. Wow. Okay. And this one has uses that is also egg bait. So they're all technically egg bait. All technically egg bait. So let's see. Let's just put all the grain in there. And let's put all of the veggie in there. And we'll put the rest of the fruit in there. And we'll just sit back and we'll just see what happens. Well, it's been a while. I've added a bit more of the roof tiles. I've been uh, adding some more glass in and some more bricks in. And the production is still high for that. Uh, let's see how we're getting on. And uh, no change. No change, no change, no change, and no change. So absolutely nothing changed. Wow, I've, I've been, I don't know, about 20 minutes, I'm guessing, and nothing. Okay, so maybe we need to figure out something different. Maybe there's something with this that's the problem. I can't see why it's a problem. Maybe it needs to be on... No, it just said four four around it maybe it needs to be on dirt or something like that if you know leave a message in the comments if we figure it out before the end of the episode i'll let you know uh, but the other things that we can do is like a chicken bait trap which is so simple i can actually just get a chicken and i hope that that works now i believe that a chicken bait trap is as simple as just putting it on some grass and leaving it alone so with this chicken bait um, I believe there's some rules about it. And there must be at least one block of water within a 555 area. Um, must be blocks from the home environment. In this case, like planes. So, um, I am guess there's 10 blocks of the home environment. If I put it there. Uh, I'm too close. Animals are scared away. Okay, so now we can see that it is, like, smoking slightly. Yeah, smoking slightly. It's got particle effects. If I stay away from it, am I too close still? I think I need to be more than um, six blocks away. So if I run over this side, <laughs> I hope my chicken doesn't spawn and then pop out and eat that um, eat that cactus over there. Let's get some seeds while we're at it as well. Okay, so seeds. Wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. And let's just check the traps. Nope, nothing. Uh, let's check this trap. Uh, nothing. 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 So, what came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> We're about to find out what came first, the chicken or the egg. Well, hey. Well, it looks like the chicken is there. Let's see. Any eggs? No. 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 So, the chicken came first. It is legitimate science. It is true. The chicken came before the egg. Now, feed these uh, seeds to this chick to try and grow them up a bit. Uh, okay, maybe not. Let's get some more. Let's get some more seeds, try and grow them faster. And then he'll start laying eggs for me. And hopefully, <laughs> then I will get the egg quicker uh, than by waiting through these ground traps. Um, yay. And maybe. So, 
I've got three chickens. One is now an adult. The first one I grew, probably. The other two are... St oh, no, this one's an adult as well. So a couple have spawned while I've been away finishing off stuff. But there's not many eggs around. There's, um... Chicken manure. Chicken manure. They're just pooping everywhere. Oh, egg. I heard it pop. The first egg. So what came first? The chicken or the egg? Well, clearly these aren't working. I must be doing something wrong with it. I don't know how to do it better. Maybe they're just balked. Maybe they don't work. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But I do have my chicken and my egg. So that's the main thing. Now, what do I do with this? Because um, all I've been doing while I've been waiting is just doing more building. I'm nearly finished building over there, which is a good thing. Uh, catcher chicken. So chicken catcher. What do we need to do with a chicken catcher? I believe that's something something to do with um, a chicken on a stick. Uh, chicken catcher. Chicken catcher. There we go. So we need a egg, a stick, and a feather. Pretty sure I got a feather from somewhere else at some point. But, uh, oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I encountered a chicken riding zombie. And so I killed the zombie and the chicken and got a chicken on a stick. Well, I got a feather. Chicken on a stick. So I caught the chicken. Now I've got to catch it. With what? With this. This is this is catching a chicken now. How am I supposed to catch a chicken? I've got 30, 32 seconds of flight left. Let's get back up here. So you see, this is progressing fairly nicely now. This uh, roof is nearly finished. But let's get over here and see if I can catch a chicken. So what do I do? Right click. I think, yay! And I make it into an item drop. So now I have a chicken here, a, a roost chicken. Nice. Okay, so we've done that. We've done that, and now we can collect our random reward, some flux, uh, some flux storage. Excellent. And now we need to get on with the chicken breeder, chicken nest, and the roost, and things like that. Okay. Well, I'm going to take second chicken as well. Uh, I can't take babies. It looks like. Oh, sorry. Wow, 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 wow. So I can't take that. Okay, so now we've got the chickens. Uh, can I see if there's anything coming out of these yet? Still nothing. Still nothing. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave them now and see how we can get on with the rest of this roost. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'll put a few things away, empty my inventory, that kind of stuff. Roost requires these hay bales and planks to make roosts for them to sit in. Chicken breeder is the same, but with seed in the middle. And a roost collector requires a chest and a hopper with a chicken. Okay. So, first off, I collected all my wheat. So I can uh, build a little thing going on here with that. To get some bales. Let's get eight, uh, nine. So I can make three for now. I know I'm going to need more, but let's do three for now. That's also the last of my wheat. And then we can make a roost. A roost is simple as that. What does a roost look like? I, I, I know that the roost is going to be this sort of size. That's why I, I swapped it around for this. So put a roost up there. Okay, that's where the chicken goes. And then you can put a chicken in it. In it. Chicken goes in it. In it. Hey! And now that chicken just sort of sits there. So that's our first chicken. And then it should cra create things. Yeah, it's got a percentage of creating something. Uh, and then that would be great. Okay, so there's a chicken. Now, I'm guessing I can take that chicken out of there or by just taking it out. Okay, well, we'll put that chicken in there for now just so that we can get an egg potentially while we're doing the other stuff. So the other building stuff was a breeder. We need a chicken breeder. Now, this one required the hay, seeds, and the wood planks to make a breeder. And I'm guessing the breeder is nothing more than you put in two chickens and breed them together so let's let's forget that actually <laughs> let's let's do this okay so we put the chickens in together and it says there's a, a problem probably because i don't have any seeds in there let's get some seeds because of course chickens need seeds to breed and this then takes the chickens and analyzes them i'm guessing um but that also has given us a couple of quest rewards do they give us a chicken crafting thing no do we give us a chicken crafting thing? No. So this this one then, the chicken analyzer and the roost uh, roost collector are two things to grab. And then I'm going to start understanding this a little bit better, I think. So the roost collector is that thing, but I need another chicken for that. So I'm going to wait for another chicken. Where's, what's the chicken timer thing? Chicken timer. 
chicken timer, chicken timer. Where are you, chicken timer? It's like a chicken egg with a timer on it. Um, that's it. There it is. A chicken analyzer. Okay, so it needs a compass and an egg. So, well, we're going to have to wait a little while for that to happen. Okay, goodbye, chicken. Oh, oh, oh. What do you, you need more? <laughs> you need more sticks. Oh, I got angry chicken after me now. Can I can I change these into a, yeah, a couple of sticks? Do I have to just beat him up with a stick? With a stick? Angry chicken. Do I have to beat him up with a stick? I hope he doesn't die. Die. Oh, angry chicken. Okay. Come on, angry chicken. Have I like hit him enough yet? Obviously not. Obviously, I have not hit him enough yet. How many times am I supposed to hit him? He's got, he's got like lots of health. Wow, I'm glad I'm flying for another minute at least. I'm glad I'm flying. Uh, he's got 24 health. Can I, can I smack him on the face from here, please? I've smacked him once more. The, the, the really, 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 really angry chicken. I've just hit an angry chicken with a stick. Is that really what I was supposed to do? Like on the the one behind, but we we had it here, didn't we? Chicken stick. Hit chicken with a stick. Fight angry chicken. I'll oh, fight it. I don't actually have to hit it with a with that then. Can I, can I fight it with a? Can I beat it up properly? Let's get some more health to regen first. I can't believe I'm having so much trouble fighting a little chicken. Ah, well it's it's quite angry. I'll give it that. It's quite an angry chicken. Give it that. Uh, give it this, give it that, give it some of this, have some of this, have some more, one more hit, done. Now I can be a chicken. And I got the chicken stick, yay, <laughs> got the chicken stick. Wow, another reward please, thank you. Oh, a reinforced conversion kit, excellent. Now the ender chicken, hmm. The ender chicken is spawned by dropping a chicken egg on a ring of obsidian with a diamond block in the middle of the end. I recommend bringing a chicken stick. Okay. Is that to beat it up with a chicken stick? Is is the chicken stick a good way of smashing the ender chicken? Maybe it is. Maybe that's a good way of beating it better than this kind of sword. Maybe that's the best thing. Hi, how you doing? I do not want to hit you with a stick. No, you, you are fine. You're quite happy being there, aren't you? All right, let's go and see what we got breeding-wise. Yeah, and we've also got a an egg. Excellent. Okay, so we have a chicken analyzer. Uh, used it determining chicken stats. Okay, so what what do I do with it? I just hit chickens and determine their stats. Uh, which use it on chickens to determine their stats. Like use it on chickens, like on this chicken, like on that chicken. Can I use it on that chicken? Uh, okay. Can I use it on these chickens? No, I can't. How do I use it on chickens? Okay, do I put it on with the chicken like this? No. Okay, do I have to place the chicken down first? I really should have watched Ego Streams a little bit more closely. Just analyze you. Can I use it on you? And then pick you back up again? No. No. No, 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 no. Chicken analyzer. I don't know what a chicken analyzer does. So the final thing for today's episode is this roost collector. And I'm not sure how it's going to work any more than I'm used to how everything else works. But we have a roost collector. We have the chicken analyzer. We have chickens. We have chicken catchers. We have eggs. We have chicken manure. We have a chicken on a stick. We have uh, feathers in here and eggs in, in the roost. We are getting to grips with it. I want to get uh, chickens of all the different varieties that I need for AE over there. Which there's lots and lots of quests to go through. And the breeding cycle is very, very slow. So we'll just finish up today. We've got three hoppers from that quest. And we've got a dragon egg crux from that quest. Um, the other thing, the wholesale thing, the uh, market. I might be able to make a market. But we'll do that at the start of the next episode. What's this use? It's just, um, it's just a very 
EMC related. Yes, it's uh, it's got a lot of EMC, a Dragon Egg Crux. I guess that's a big thing. But that is all for today's episode, folks. Thank you very much for watching another episode of Stoneblock 2. I will see you on the server again very soon. Don't forget to check out the Patreon and all the other links in the description. I will see you in the next episode of Stoneblock 2. Goodbye.